Hey everyone, my name is Gloria and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be my September TBR or all of the books that I hope to get to or plan on reading in the month of September. It's my birthday month. It's sort of like half summer, half fall. I'm a summer girl through and through so I still consider September partially summer. I have a lot of books that I want to get to this month and a lot of planned reading both with other people and with series September which is this fun readathon hosted by Krista from Books and Jams and Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. I'll link all the stuff down below that they announced and it's just a fun little readathon to get people to read more of series and finish series that they've already started etc. You know I love a good challenge so I'm gonna try to accomplish all of the nine bingo board prompts which I'll put right here. Overall, I think I definitely prefer to read standalones over series, and I didn't even think that I was in the middle of many series or had many series on my radar, but it turns out I do. So there's actually quite a few that I'm gonna be talking about. But I'm gonna start with the non-series books, books that I just hope to get to in the month of September that are just standalones and are for various reasons hope to get to them. So let's start with those. The first book on my September docket is The Nesting Dolls by Alina Adams. I am buddy reading this with Anne McNulty. I'll link her channel down below, but I'm so excited to be doing an official first buddy read. And we are picking up this historical fiction. I mentioned this book in my books I want to read that are set in Russia and Ukraine. This book is a multi-generational family saga. It's set in different places and different timelines. So Odessa, Ukraine, Siberia, Russia, Brighton Beach, New York, which has a really big Slavic population there. So I'm really excited to dive into this one. I think it'll be very interesting. Fingers crossed it's a good read. And I'm excited to buddy read with Anne. So Yay. Another group read that I'm excited to join in on is The Only Plane in the Sky, An Oral History of 9-11 by Garrett M. Graff. September 11th this year marks the 20th anniversary of the terror attack. I heard that this is an excellent audiobook, so I plan to be listening to it as well as following along in this physical read. And Amanda from The Curly Reader is going to be hosting a discussion, live discussion, about reading this book. I know this is probably going to make me cry. This is going to be tragic and hard to read and hard to listen to, but I also think is very important and I would love to hear stories from survivors or people that were impacted by 9-11. Another group read that I'm planning to jump into is The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. Krista from Books and Jams is hosting another Christian nonfiction read-along and all of the details aren't officially announced. I think she'll be releasing another video soon but I plan to join in and read this book along with her and many others and this is just a classic Christian nonfiction book about your faith and pursuing God and what that means in your life. So I'm really excited to read this alongside with others. I think Christian nonfiction, buddy reading it with other people is really the way to go because you just, you get so much more out of it. Now these next three are, I hope to get to, but no promises because I have a lot more others for series September that I hope to read. But the first one is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch for Buzzwordathon. The month for September is dark and this book's been on my radar. This is a science fiction mystery thriller dystopian maybe one of those. I know this book is about like a man who remembers one life but then wakes up and is living a completely different life and he's trying to figure out what happened. So I think there's like a bit of an alternate reality situation going on. I don't know. I've just heard it's very good and I hope to get to this one in September to fill that buzzwordathon prompt. Another book I hope to pick up is The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barrows. This is a well-loved historical fiction and the movie came out a few years ago. I watched it. I think I enjoyed it. I think the romance was pretty cute. This is a epistolary novel, which is a collection of letters. Chantel from An Intentional Life is hoping to pick up this book in September. And so I was like, you know what? Might as well read it too. I've been wanting to read it. So let's read it in the same month. Why not? It should be pretty short and like easy to read through because they are letters. This book is set during World War II in the town of Guernsey in the UK. And I believe the town was occupied by the Germans, but it also wasn't like totally affected by the war as some other places in England. So yeah, this should be cute. We'll see. Hope to get to it, but I don't know. And the one that is a total maybe that I don't know if I will because it is quite chunky is Beneath a Scarlet Sky by Mark Sullivan. Now Angie from The Science Mama just decided to end her book club, which is unfortunate, but I totally understand why. This was a September pick. I really hope I can still read it and pick it up in the month of September. I don't know if I will because I have many other books I want to get to as well, but I do want to read this book. It is also a historical fiction set during the war, but in Italy. I heard nothing but good things about it, so I really want to get to it. I don't know if I will. 
we'll see. All right, so now let's get into series September. So there's a total of nine prompts and I hope to complete all of them. I am doubling up for quite a few and a lot of the books that I wanna to get to fulfill a few of the prompts. So I'm gonna read the prompts first and then I'm gonna talk about the books and which prompt they work for. So start a series, read two books in the same series, the newest series purchased, read that series, series that is longer than five books, finish a series, the second book in a series, a book in a duology, your most recently started series, and a series that you started more than a year ago. So the one that I will 100% get to is to read a book in a duology because I just read Dear Mrs. Bird, finished this literally two days ago, and this is a duology at this point, this is book one. I read this, loved it. You will hear more of my thoughts in my August wrap-up, but this was so good. I loved it so much. This is a historical fiction set during World War II, during the Blitz in London, but it's also sort of a contemporary and just like a slice of life in that time period. I loved it so much. It was so wholesome and feel good and made me laugh and cry and all the things. And this is book one. I read it and just recently, I think in the last month or two, the second book came out and it is called Yours Cheerfully. So it is a continuation of the story. I heard maybe mixed things about that one from the couple people that I know read it but I'm still so excited to pick it up the narrator was great so I plan to listen to the audiobook and that's not only going to complete to read a book in a duology but also it's a second book in a series technically and I'm finishing a series because there's only two books that like works for all three prompts but yeah very excited to read the continuation of this one the other one that I for sure want to get to is the night trilogy by Ellie Wiesel night dawn and day and this is a non-fiction biography about Eli Wiesel who was was in a concentration camp. I remember reading Night in like sixth grade or something like that. I remember it being very impactful and I want to not only reread that book but I didn't even know that it was a trilogy and perfect. It works for series September so I want to read all three. I also plan on pairing the audiobook with this book but this prompt works for starting a series and finishing a series because it's all in one and it also works for reading two books that are in the same series and it also works for the read your bookshelf challenge for September. The prompt is to read a book that is translated. This book is translated from French so that fulfills that prompt for Chantel's challenge. So yeah, definitely going to be picking this one up. Now for the prompt of a series that is longer than five books and a series that I started more than a year ago, that's gonna be Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. So I started the Outlander series, I don't know, like six years ago at this point. It was a long time ago. I read Outlander, I've read it twice. I actually read like halfway through this book at some point and then I stopped and I watched the first season of the show. This is a historical fiction. It is a historical romance. It deals with time travel a little bit, so there are some fantasy elements to it, but overall it's this like epic, beautiful saga, and I would love to read all the books, and it's it's quite a long one. The audiobook is like 40 hours long, which is a lot. It's a big commitment, but you know, this is really the only book, the only series that I have started and want to continue reading that is long and that I really want to get into. So I really want to pick this one up in September. That's the goal. And then I have three other series to talk about that could also work for these prompts. Just those three series that I just mentioned really fulfill most of those prompts, but I want to pick up more because I can read more. So we'll see. The first one that I'm a little skeptical about, but I really want to try is the Lunar Chronicles. So the first book is Cinder by Marissa Meyer, I believe, and the second book is Scarlet, and then it goes mm, Winter and something else. These are sci-fi retellings of classic like princesses. So Cinder being Cinderella, Scarlet being Red Riding Hood, and I'm not entirely sure what the other ones are, but it follows Cyborg, which is like half human, half robot. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I'm stepping into a little bit skeptical. I feel like if I read this when I was in middle school, high school, I would have loved it. For some reason, it's giving me the Uglies Pretties Specials Extra Series vibes, which I loved when I was in middle school, and I haven't read those since then. But we'll see. A lot of people on booktube are reading this right now. There's like a major group read-along happening with this series, so I wanted to give it a try. The other YA series that I want to get to, and it's one of my 12 fiction books I want to read this year, is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin. This is a trilogy at this point, I believe, and this is also a historical fiction, but it's a sci-fi alternate reality so it's giving me a little bit of man in the high castle vibes which is a great amazon prime tv series it's also based on a book like an old book but this book is set as if germany and japan had won world war ii and it follows a teenager who wants to kill hitler and in order to get closer to him she has to participate in this motorcycle race something along those lines i've heard good things 
and I hope to pick it up. And then the other books that I've been wanting to get to, but they are very chunky, so I'm intimidated, is this duology. The first book being The Revolution of Marina M by Jeanette Fitch, and the second book being Chimes of a Lost Cathedral. This is a duology that I heard Brittany from Literarily Smitten talk about, and she loved. It's set in Russia during the Russian Revolution in the early 1900s. I also feel like this is gonna be like an epic saga story, totally up my alley, totally something I wanna read. They are very long though. So I don't know if I'll get to this or both of these in September. You know, I'm putting this on my possibility list. We'll see if I get to them. I have some books that I definitely wanna read and have to read and these will fall into, if I can get to them, I would love to pick them up. So that's all the series that I want to read for series September. The only prompt that I can't fulfill, I think is newest series purchase. I don't really buy books too often and the ones that I have have all been standalones. That's the one prompt that is a big question mark and I don't know if I'll be able to complete it, but I'm not worried about it. But yeah, that's my very ambitious September TBR. I'm very excited actually for all of these books. So I feel like it'll be another really good reading month. I'm pretty stoked for September. Let me know your number one book that you hope to get to in September down below. I'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching and for tuning in and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye.